skin does an amazing job of protecting us from microbes and outside contaminants, like a large, watchful guardian. But when you're designing stick-to-skin medical devices, skin can be a fierce adversary. In this video series, we'll help you understand the unique challenges skin poses and help you choose appropriate adhesive materials for your applications so you can make skin your friend. Before we can understand how to stick medical devices to skin, we need to understand what skin is and why it's challenging. Obviously, skin is what's on our outside, but what makes it unique is what happens on the inside. Skin has a micro-layered structure. From the outside in, skin consists of the epidermis, the papillary dermis, the reticular dermis, and the hypodermis. The top layer of the epidermis, the stratum corneum, consists of dead skin cells that are regenerated about every 14 days. This constant regeneration of skin is a key challenge in formulating adhesives that can stick to it. But that's not all. There are other biological factors that can make sticking to skin difficult. When designing devices for skin, the age of the wearer is a key factor. As you age, skin becomes more fragile, drier, and easier to damage. That's because with age, the epidermis flattens and thins, making it easier to shear off its cells and damage that skin layer. We also lose hyaluronic acid, which gives skin its sponginess, so skin becomes more fragile and brittle. Babies also have fragile skin. In neonates particularly, the epidermis is not fully developed, so the skin layers are much thinner than normal. For patients with sensitive or fragile skin, engineers should consider gentler adhesives. As a living, breathing organ, skin shouldn't be occluded or blocked for long periods of time. Skin needs to expel moisture. The stratum corneum contains about 15% water. But as you go deeper into the epidermis and dermal layers, skin is about 70% water. That water is constantly trying to make its way up and out through the top layer of skin. A device that occludes the skin can trap water that's trying to escape. This can lead to a problem called maceration. More on that later. Just remember, for skin, breathability in devices and adhesives is good, while trapping moisture is bad. You'll notice that there are hair follicles throughout the skin. Even though hair is usually removed before wearing a medical device, hair continues to grow under the device, pushing up and against the adhesive. Hair follicles also contain microbes, which can potentially lead to folliculitis, which is an inflammation of hair follicles that accompanies infection. In addition to skin challenges, device designers will also want to consider the activity level of the user. Will they be active or sedentary? Where on the body will the device be worn? How long will it be worn? What materials will it need to be compatible with? What's the manufacturing process? Is sterilization required? It's a lot to think about. What's a device engineer to do? Hmm. We suggest joining us for our next chapter, Befriending Skin with the Right Adhesive.